Harry is definitely a character I did not expect to ever use again, but here we are. I'm actually surprised he is usable today in the Chaos Battle because uh, yesterday he was also usable. I don't know what's going on, but the teams aren't shuffling as much as I thought they would. It seems like even if a character is like meta, it only goes up by like 100 points or something. Because uh, the same Bond team has been dominating for like four days or something. In any case, this is him running. Terry. And also another KF character as well, Fina. Ascanor. I was going to be carrying the team. But Terry is pretty good here. His passive is going to come in handy quite often, I hope. Mainly the part where he reduces their ult gauge by... Or not ult gauge. He reduces their... Uh, Stats by 20%. Okay, this is not a real match, so I'm gonna skip it, but right here. Zaldris got a minus 20% all stats because he has the highest HP on the enemy team. Now, Terry's uh, counters aren't very good, but for the sake of the video, I'll, I'll, I'll use it for fun. But don't, exp don't expect much from it. A hell team? Okay, they are all Ragnarok too, so Dan's passive actually works here. For the first turn, I'm just not even gonna attack, actually. I'm just gonna wait for Askinor's Flames to catch on a little bit. I'll, I'll pop Terry's counter, why not? Just for the sake of uh, using a card for space here. But yeah, his counters are not gonna do any damage. Oh, are you kidding me? Do use a Hell card, please. Thank you. But she has Tar Link, right? He, he wouldn't just... It's fine. Uh, I'll kill the end. Yeah. This should kill the end. And then... In case it doesn't, I'll take off the old cage. But we have Athena. So... Just killing the end will be enough. To just remove true old cage. In case... I, like, it was unli unlikely she would survive. But in case I didn't, I also made sure to uh, remove if Terry. Don't like this. But we have Tarmel Link on uh, Ascanor. Dude, can we <laughs> kill Thunder? Can you relax with this shock card? Ouch. Is she still Stat Lord? She is, right? I might have died if she didn't have 20% last attack related stats. I'm not even kidding. I might have actually died there. She has Tarmio Link, but uh, she doesn't have damage cap anymore. So... I'm concerned I wouldn't kill, I'll be honest. I am concerned I wouldn't I I'm not gonna kill. <sighs> and I got a bajillion. Are you kidding me, dude? This wouldn't kill either. I should have gone for Merlin. Does she kill? She's disabled. I don't think she kills. Nice. And we're taunting. Dude, that card... Okay, Gilfander. Like, obviously he's only here for his cost, but dude... Couldn't we have someone that has like a proper card? My god. This this shock card, I'ma do one. Just for the just 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 cuz. And you can see it. This shock card is hilarious. Guess I won't. I am shocked. I'm telling you, like, how is this team meta? It, it it's been meta for like three or four days. I think Chaos Battle is bugged. Like legit the same teams have been working day after day uh you know <laughs> i don't think king can do anything here he, he is minus 20 percent attack related stats i'm just gonna start going for uh for a lane here minus 20 percent attack related stats i am quite confident it's not gonna do much I was wrong. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, I was severely mistaken. <laughs> does, he have, does he have tar relic on King? He does not, okay. Uh, I made a severe lapse in my judgment. Doesn't matter. Damn! Now I'm telling you, like, you know why he hit so hard? Because LR Glocks is just a holy relic, so you can use... You can use LR Glocks on red Glocks, it's the same unit. Ooh. Blues, green, green king. Queen Deanne and Merlin? Damn. I'm surprised that works. Like, I'm surprised they have the cost for the... Dude, I'm just gonna... <laughs> can I just do this? Four ignites, there's no way she survives. Yeah, even if I miss every crit. Dude, I might just honestly remove... Um, I have Tarmelink on Ascanor. I kind of want to just put Merlin Link and, and have him actually crit. Like, legit. Without Merlin Link, he's uh, not the most reliable. When it comes to those crits. Good damage, King. Since the end is the only unit left on his team, it's it's over. Because, uh, what is he gonna do? I'm just gonna. Yeah, well, what is he gonna do? I. Every day. I keep saying this. People are obsessed with Demon King. This guy is running a level 50. 50 Halloween Meliodas just so he can run Demon King. There is a point of which your decisions are bad. <laughs> you are make bad choices. Using Halloween Meliodas is a bad choice. No matter how you look at it. Alright, 31k, let's go. And he doesn't even heal that much because he, he has he has no lifesteal, right? Like I can't check enemy stats, which is so unfortunate. I really wish I could. But there's no way he has because uh, like look at LR Eskinar, right? He has an LR. He has 21% lifesteal. With minus 20% lifesteal, he probably has like under 5%. Like I can't imagine he has more than five. Like this guy doesn't even have a back unit, does he? Oh he does, okay. Kizuna got another Jelly King, and this time I will not make the same mistake. It's all in on King. It's all in. Even though I'm gonna get this uh, lowered here. Yeah. No! <laughs> no. If he gets too lucky, I'll die. Like, actually. Why did he cleanse? What? Did I do any important debuffs on him? Okay, that's so unfortunate that, like... It's so, it's so unfortunate that... Because he killed Terry... He got lifesteal again. No, it doesn't matter, he's dead, so the match is over. Yeah, this is the problem with this King team, right? I mean, you can say the same about my Askinor team. Like, if Askinor dies, I also lose. But, like, if King dies, it's over. Like, what is he gonna do? There is no other play on the team except King. Like, sure, kill Athena. Which you won't because of her holy relic. Get Glocks first. Because then I won't be uh, attacker list at Lord. I should have just done. I, I am. You know, so used to doing Ignite card first and then the other attack card for Askinor. Because obviously, you want to apply the Ignites first to do more damage. 
If I face another king, I'm just gonna attack with the regular attack card, card first, and it might just kill. Okay. Let's test my fury. This is blue Elaine. So, see, the thing is, right? Another good reason to use the Ignite card first is because it removes. <laughs> That's so annoying. <laughs> It's just so annoying that that ah, he was left with one HP. That removes the is it crit defense only that she gives, or does she give something else with that buff? Let me check actually. I believe it's crit defense, and that's it. Uh, click on the one way. Yeah, crit defense by 60% and increase it. Yeah. You remove that crit defense buff, but you know, if we're missing the crits, which I guess this time we didn't miss, but. Dude. Surely Askeler is not gonna do this to me again, right? Surely. I know. He's disabled. And attack lord. But come on. Thank you. Yeah, I'm taking off Asker. Uh, I'm taking off Knife. No, I'm taking off uh, Tarmio Link from him. He is much better off with like Roxy Link. I'm not playing that many more matches, anyways. But. <laughs> I need him to do damage. Gil Thunder can have the Tarmio Link. I'll have him taunt. Yo Thunder can have the pleasure of uh, holding the Tarmia link. Dude. People are just so boring. <laughs> people are just so boring, man. Uh, this time. Because the thing- like, okay, whatever. This time. It will kill. Nice. It's like... Obviously... You wanna win, right? There's no denying. You wanna win. You wanna get the gems. You get up to 100 gems. Right? A hundred gems. Obviously, you want to use the best of the best. But... It's boring. Like, that team is just boring. You, you're running... A team you know you're gonna win. Because, I mean, those, those guys I face had good CC. I just have better because I'm, I'm a bigger way. It is what it is, right? And, uh... That's the team that they probably have been running for the past few days. I would just not even play. I'm playing the game mode quite consistently right now because I'm trying out different teams because that's fun. I think that's way more fun than just running the same team for like a hundred matches. That's... That's just boring. And you say, oh, you know, that's the only team I have built. Alright, but... Oh, 48, damn. The people I'm facing have really good CC. Like, legit, like, that guy with the, the last king guy I faced, how much did he have hit? Like, three, uh, 235? Dude, 235 of that team is insane. Because that team has horrendous CC. Uh, I think I died. No. Is there a way of winning here? Have to kill him, right? But how? I think she got good asking her cards next turn. If he doesn't have another card for her, I might just be able to kill Ainz. If Ainz dies, he, he loses. I need asking her cards so I can cleanse the debuffs. Perfect. Perfect. Can Gilfunder survive one attack? Is the question. One attack has been survived. But. 
this one he's not surviving. No chance. There was no chance. That's fine. I'm killing eyes. So the debuff goes away. Uh, and then who am I taking with him? Who knows? I'll, I'll make sure to kill him. So I'm just double attacking. I'm taking you with him, I guess. I full heal. I won. Merlin ain't killing Askador here. Unless she... I don't know, dude. I, he, she doesn't have the pierce buff anymore. If she still had the pierce buff, maybe. But that's the AoE, right? That was a single target. Yeah, if she had the pierce buff, she would have killed. No pierce buff on sight, though. Alright. And they here. I would use that Ainz scene, but I already made an Ainz video yesterday. No more Ainz for a while.